Okay, so we want to uh, modify the toolbar. So you want to go over to your toolbar and click on like this, this first one, the options. And you go file and come down to settings. And so it should open this options here, yeah? Yeah. Okay. The one that you want to go to is commands. So what you'll notice is there's a ton of commands here. But the first thing you're going to do, save as. Because otherwise you'll mess up your current toolbar. Let's just leave that one alone. So let's do a save as. And I want to save it as, um, I don't want to put this in desktop. Where, is, where does yours show up? Leave it where your default is. For some reason, my default's funky. Um, let me find where mine is. It's not under documents. It would be um, yeah, active software, active inspire, my resources, my profile. That's where I need it. It needs to be in this my profiles folder, which it should default for you. For some reason, mine wasn't. So you'll notice it now says Alice 2 up here. I can switch. I have different profiles I could use. So my first thing, though, is I want to make a copy and then edit it. Okay, because okay, I don't want to mess up the original. So should we put in our names then, too? Yeah, whatever you want to call it. Okay. I would make one per, like, like one specifically for math. One spe like if you're doing a rainforest unit, then make one specifically for that unit that uses the tools that you're going to be using for that day. It's easy to change toolbars. So let me, um, I'm going to hit save. Okay. If over here, like this one's the options, but this one right here, it looks like a Rolodex card. How much longer is that people going to understand what that is? Um, my pre-service teachers at Fresno State, I bet they have no idea. Okay, but do you see how I can just click on this Rolodex thing and it, and I can just switch. Now I've got a math toolbar. I go back. You see, it's quick. On my Mac, it's probably super slow on your PC, I'm just saying. Sucker. Okay. I love my, I love my Mac. So I'm going to go back into the settings. The thing is, is that you want to remember is once you make edits, it's to save. It pretends to save. It looks like it's saved, like it's. It's there. And then when you update the software, it erases all your toolbar that you've done since you um, edited it. It erases them. And then you have to start over. So you make sure you hit save when you're done. It's, it's deceptive. So I'm on commands. And now what's on this main toolbox here that you are not going to use? Let's look through this. Will you use desktop annotate? Probably. I, the desktop tools... Yes, but it's really more of an advanced feature. So if you're not going to use it right now, you can click on it and choose remove. So you remember we made a copy anyway. So, the, you know, the original is still there. So I'm going to remove it. I, I, I definitely want the previous page and the next page. So it says here start, stop the flip chart. I don't need that. You guys don't even have clickers. So the express poll, you don't have clickers. So just remove that. You doing okay with removing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I don't use this tools menu, do you? No. I'm going to remove it. Okay. Uh, I will use the pen and the arrow for sure. Those are the two that are the most important. Fill, sure. Shape, yes. Connector, no. Insert media from file. If I am going to insert a media from a file, like I'm going to insert a video or I'm going to insert a sound file, I'm going to do that like when I'm sitting at my desk or I'm on my couch at home. I'm not doing that on the fly during class. So I would have that. I would have a toolbar just for when I'm editing because I will take out, you know, like the screen revealer. I don't need that when I'm on my couch at my house. Yeah. You know, so I'm going to take this out because I don't need it while I'm teaching. I would make one just for kids where it just like strips everything out and it's just like five. It's a ruler. Or not, not ruler. It's the arrow, the pen, the pen shapes, the undo, pad. yeah, the basics. The eraser. The, the eraser is down at the bottom in the pen tray. Oh, good, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's right, because the primary view. In primary view. Um, you know, so I don't know, right? These, these look good. 
See now it's see how much cleaner it is now? Yeah, we're about to make it messy. Okay, so now is where the fun comes in. Look at all of these options over here. Scroll, 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 scroll. Oh my gosh, it's just so many things to play with. Don't go too crazy. Like add one option, become the master of that, and then go in and add another. But let's let's see like if you, if you want to go through this kind of slowly with me, I'll pick out some of my favorites. Highlighter is in the pen tray, so I don't need that. If I was in studio view, yeah. I would. Now, magic ink, what that does is allows you to erase, but it doesn't really erase. <clears throat> it, um, it makes it kind of see-through, and then you can move the ink and reveal. Uh, it makes like... It used to be that when you um, used the eraser, it actually erased it with white. And then you could move the eraser to reveal stuff. That's basically what Magic Ink is now. It, it's hard to explain, so let's just not use it. Okay. I don't think we're there yet. Later on, you might want to play with it. Okay. Um, we already did those. Okay. If you were a math teacher, you might want to have like fractions and stuff. And so this is an equation, inserting equations. So the rubber stamp is kind of cool because if you have a shape, you can now use this rubber stamp and keep stamping it. So you might want that because you're going to make a circle or a counting bear and then duplicate it a bunch of times, right? So let's go ahead and do rubber stamp. Now where do you want the rubber stamp? So over here on the right hand side, you got to figure out where do you want it. Maybe I want it next to the shapes. So I click on shape. And then I hit add because it's going to put it next to whatever you click on. Okay. So you see it's now underneath the shape tool as opposed to someplace randomly. Okay, come back up here. Page zoom. I love this because I'll import a PDF and, you know, it's, it's portrait. And so it's like super small font and the kids can't see it. So I zoom in so we can see that one section and I just pan around. You want that one? Sure. Okay. So... I'm going to add that. And so you can see the changes happening over here. Is this in the right place? Yes. This looks good. If it's not, you'll notice there's a move up and move down. Okay, so let's keep going. You might want the clock. It's a countdown timer, right? Okay, so let's put the clock in there. Where do I want the clock? I think I want it after the text. Maybe. Okay. So I click add. See, now I have a clock on there. Um, keep going, keep going. Oh, revealer. We love the revealer. Add that one. I also love the circular spotlight. So I'm going to add that. That's the one you're using right now, right? This is called mouse light. It's something that's specific to the Mac. Okay. So, and it cost me 99 cents. If the circular spotlight was the one you said? Yeah, circular spotlight and revealer. You're going to like those a lot. Okay, I'm just going through, trying to find my favorites. I don't want to go super crazy. I like pen modifiers, but I'm not going to do that right now. Let's keep going. Yeah, and if this was a math toolbar, I'd add the ruler. How often are you doing ruler? Do you do it when you're not doing math? Like, do you feel like you use it frequently? Okay, won't make this toolbar then. Wait, real quick. I'm in the clear annotations spray bottles. Yeah. I think I would like the clear annotations. So we have it there in this one where it it's a menu. Just Okay, so if I click on that, all of those come up? All of them oh, come up. Cool. Okay, thank you. So if you, like, use the same one and you don't want to have to, like, click it, choose, you just want to do it, then you would add it on there so it's, so it's quicker. Like automatic, okay. But, you know. Uh, compass is cool. Ticker tape's cool. All those are cool, but let's just keep going. Um, you know, if, if you do a lot of things with sound, if you want to be able to turn sound on and off, um, it does screen recorder so you can make movies out of it. Keep going. Um, yeah, I don't want a web browser on there. Boom -de -doo. I'm just looking. Keep on going. I personally like to use select all, but you may or may not, that may not be exciting for you because I'm like doing a whole entire algebra math problem which takes up the whole screen and then I run out of room. So then I choose select all so it catches them all and then I grab the corner and I shrink it up so I now have more room. So I don't know if that, if you guys find yourself frequently need to like capturing everything and moving it? Probably not. But duplicate, we want duplicate. 
So here's the thing. The two fav my two favorite favorites is duplicate and new page. And the icons are almost exactly the same. So I put one at the top and I put one at the bottom. So I'm going to put this duplicate, I want it at the bottom. So I'm going to put it uh, maybe right here below the separator. You can put it where you want, obviously. So I'm going to add it. So you see this one down here is duplicate. Now look, convert to text is actually super cool. You'll write a word with your handwriting and it'll change it into a text box. Oh, that's cool. Wanna add that one? Okay, I'm gonna put that by the text box, I think. Right, so I click on text and then I click add. Convert to shape, like I can draw a really lame looking triangle and it'll turn it into a nice looking triangle. You probably want that one, right? Okay, so I'm gonna add that. So now I got those two. Um, Wait, I was not, you still got just a second. Yeah, sorry. Duplicate and then convert to text. Yeah, you? I did convert to text and convert to shape. Okay, Don't to shape. let me peer pressure into picking any of these. I'm just showing you my favorites. Okay, and then you guys, I don't use Loft very much, but I think you would. As a math teacher, I'm mostly just writing math problems up there. Loft, you want to, you know, create your circle. I like to create a circle and have the kids drag the word or the shape into basically containers to sort them like put all the nouns in this circle and put all the verbs in that circle so you want to lock the circles down so you might want a locked but honestly I can right click on the shape and get to the locked pretty quickly I don't know how much I need it on my toolbar so that's up to you I wouldn't I don't do it but you can Drag a copy, don't do it now, but later you want to kind of play with that because as you click on it, it just creates infinite copies. Okay. Um, yeah, it's super nice. So you don't have to keep going, duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Keep going, go, 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 go. Okay, this is like the money shot right here. Blank page after the current page. Because if your slideshow is pre-made and then doesn't a kid ask a question all the time and you're like, Oh yeah, let me do that. And it's outside of what you were planning on doing. You need some blank space. But do you see how this icon looks almost the same? So I want that to be up here at the top. So I'm going to come up and I'm going to put it after the pen. So I'm going to click on the pen. Blank page after the current. I'm going to add it. So now that's up there. Um... So here's that add page to the resource library if that's something you find yourself doing a lot. But again, I would put that on a different toolbar that you're using, like having a specific one for when you're messing around with Promethean plant. So I would have a different toolbar entirely for that. And that means you open it up and you hit save as, name it Promethean toolbar, and then when you're done, don't forget to hit save. Um, I don't think I have any others. I'm just... Looking at, yeah, okay. So let's hit save. That's the one without the pen on it. If you'll notice that as I was going, it was adding it on there. So it looks like it's saving, but it doesn't really save. Okay. Let's click save. So right. Remember to click save. Yeah, remember to click save. I'm going to hit done. And so here's the thing is that I can actually share this toolbar with other people. So I don't remember if you saw how I because mine was in the wrong place, right? So I had to uh, figure out where my My Profiles folder was. So when I'm in my email and I go to make an attachment, I go to Documents, I go to Active Inspire, I go to, there's some other folders there, and I just keep drilling down until I get to the My Profiles folder, and it's in there. And I can email you my toolbar if I saved it. Um, and then you can save it into your My Profiles, and now you can have my same exact toolbar. Uh, so that's kind of nice, especially if you make it specific for a unit. Um, all right, it is Control Shift 